Hey, this is Mirigloff, and this is the Hardcore Mode Flat World Challenge. The goal of this challenge is to get 180 gold ingots, with which I shall craft 20 gold blocks, which I will use to build a Golden Menger sponge. And part of the process of collecting that uh, 180 80 gold ingots is and it's pretty much the best way to uh, get gold ingots is by going into the nether and fighting zombie pigmen. It's somewhat expensive in regards to equipment such as swords. They always run out of swords. Okay, my equipment is pretty much settled. Could always make an enchantment chest if I want to. Well, actually I can't. I need some book cases or some books, but that's pretty easily acquired. Alright, now to find some zombie pigmen. I should probably leave a trail of sorts. I don't think this is going to yield any open spaces. Zombie pigmen tend to spawn in somewhat open spaces. It's not really worth trying to go over there, though, where I see at least one zombie pigmen. Here we go. And hopefully guests can't get at me here. Oh boy, I actually need to resolve an issue here. And I know it, that it is definitely going to be an issue. That is lava. Death by lava is not a means in which I wish to die. Try to stimmy the flow here. I don't really seem to be doing too great of a job of it. All right. And time to kill these pigmen. And I tend not to talk a great deal whilst in the midst of fighting zombie pigmen, as that is pretty unwise. The thing about uh, collecting gold ingots in the nether is that zombie pigmen drop gold nuggets, and gold nuggets can be crafted into ingots when you have nine of them. And that is essentially how I exploit the nether within uh, the Hardcore Mode Challenge. It's also an excellent way to gather experience. More so than a, uh, a mob grinder, I think, at least. It's not as technical or tedious. I haven't really yet built a good experience grinder. That's mostly because I haven't seen a zombie spawner in a while. I know that the I know that the best uh, experience grinders are Enderman ones, but that's that takes 
a great deal of effort. Much more than I would want to spend when I could simply go into the nether and kill zombie pigmen. And all that it really costs you is uh, swords. Iron swords or stone swords. Whatever it is you're using to kill the, the kill to kill the pigmen. Almost enough to craft one gold ingot. And I won't be to doing uh, a great deal of uh, videos, uh, a great many videos like this. The next couple of videos are quite likely to be time-lapsed. Just of me killing zombie pigmen. Okay, so that's enough to craft an ingot. Dangerous. Could have got pushed into that lava. I hate how lava takes so long to disappear. I think it should at least be comparable to the speed of which it likes to flow downward. I think it should disappear just as fast as that. interesting. I've never seen glowstone sort of generate straight out from a wall before. Not like that at least. As long as I keep on going back and forth across uh, these open spaces, the zombie pigment are going to spawn in great numbers. <laughs> Simply because I uh, suspect that they don't have anywhere else really to spawn. Some people, uh... I suppose or oh there's the gold sword. I can't really grab it. So, similar to how people want more varieties of blocks or such as uh multicolored stairs or multicolored wooden stairs. Uh people also ask a lot for more mobs. <laughs> And I know that's a pretty popular request. I don't personally s share that opinion. I think there's plenty of mobs already. And if you, I mean, if you look at it, we've already re been uh, several mobs have been added already. If you consider Endermen, Silverfish, Magma Cubes, Blaze mobs, and. I believe that's it. I, f I feel as though there's maybe one more that I'm forgetting. Oh yeah, there's uh, cave spiders. So that's round five, I think. I wasn't counting when I, as I was speaking of them, but I'm sure it's five. That's nearly, uh, if not double, as many mobs as there were before. I think it's just like I uh, was talking about a few episodes ago, where 
there's never really a point in which there's too much variety, so people will always ask for more variety. And at a certain point, uh, the developers of Minecraft, Mojang, are more likely to avoid adding more variety simply because they want to add completely new features rather than adding upon the features that already exist. And more features being uh, like, uh, like the end and the nether at one point was a completely new feature even though they could have uh, at the time they had much more that they could have added to the overworld. And I'm always for more variety, and I think uh, they've been promising lately for horses. Which, in regards to mobs, I actually would definitely like to see horses. Not simply because I like horses in general, but I think it get, gives uh, an opportunity for faster travel across single-player worlds, which would be very helpful for me in my uh, Mirgloff Builds series, as my I do keep my towns quite some distance separate. At the moment, I'm getting to the traveling between them quickly by going through the nether, but that's, that is not ideal. I do not particularly like having to travel through the nether. Not so much that it's dangerous as it is annoying. So it's somewhat of a uh, navigational challenge to find your way from a randomly, well not randomly, but uh, a portal. Finding your way from one portal to the next through very unfriendly terrain. And I think I'll stop when I get three more ingots. Or not three more, uh, I get nine more nuggets. Stop for this video, that is. I'm going to be in the nether from uh, my sense of time. It's going to be different for your perception of time as uh, you, the viewers. Probably going to spend a couple of hours in the nether killing zombie pigmen. Get as many nu nuggets as I can. Will probably be a couple of videos. Since uh, the majority of them will be time lapsed. And I'll find new. New uh, music to go with that time lapse, just to keep it more interesting. Because there's no doubt that, uh. Oh god. This is horrible. That was pretty easy. More so than easy, it was hilarious. It's so bizarre that a ghast would spawn right there. I don't need gunpowder, so... I won't try and collect it. I'm considering enchanting a diamond blade. 
simply in hopes of getting a uh, sharpness enchantment, something that boosts damage. And it will last quite a bit longer against the zombie pigmen. Because it's uh, got the diamond quality durability. Or I may end up with a uh, some kind of enchantment that allows my uh, diamond sword to last quite a bit longer. Which will also be a bonus against the zombie pigmen. But I would prefer if I got some kind of damage buff. So that it's uh, I can kill them in one or two hits. That way they don't really surround me as they tend to do. Because when I'm fighting the zombie pigmen in the nether... I quite frequently have near-death experiences where my heart meter gets down to two hearts. I always manage to survive somehow. But it's kind of a gamble. So a uh, investment in a diamond sword, even though it may get used up quickly against uh, zombie pigmen, I think will be worth it. But uh, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, there will be more videos soon, and goodbye.